recently came into position of this Placostomus skull, and I figured, why not mount it? If you mount deer heads, why can't you mount a fish head? It's actually really cool. So, you know, we're just gonna stick it up there like that, I'm gonna make a little plaque. Let's go through the whole process. Kinda sad he had to die though. I was kinda shocked when I found a whole Placostomus skeleton in the back of my fish tank. Luckily I have a couple more and these ones are still alive. So we'll pay homage to this poor fellow and immortalize him. First thing I'm gonna do is grab a piece of paper from my magical Lego brick here. And we're gonna size him up. All right, so now we've got him on the paper. We're just gonna go ahead and size him up. I don't wanna handle him actually because he's pretty fragile. Just gonna draw a little circle around him to get some rough measurements. And we're gonna clean this up here now. So it looks like he's pretty much three and a half inches long. So let's just write that down and let's see how long he is. He's about two and a half inches wide. Let's go look for a piece of wood. Here we are in the poorly lit garage. Let's search the wood thingy and find a chunk that he'll fit on. So I found this old chunk of floor panel, which looks like it was gonna be destined for some dragon puzzle or something, but this is a much better use if you ask me. So we're gonna make a better design because a little egg-shaped thing isn't gonna be cool enough for a costumist skull. So I found some stupid shield shape on the internet really quick and I used GIMP to resize it so it'll fit the skull. And I'm just gonna, yeah, let's print that. <laughs> awesome. <clears throat> All right, let's go cut this out now. Wait, what's this? It's Frank's last will and testament. What is it, first one? Don't mount my skull on a piece of hardwood. Well, shit, we gotta get it from a piece of wood then. So as per Frank's wishes, we are not mounting one hardwood. We are going to use this piece of pine instead. Wow, this thing sucks. Let's keep working on it. It looks a hell of a lot better after sanding. But And got the plaque all set up on some little pins and plastic. And now it's gonna get some rust oleum lacquer. So it should be dry by now. Let's take a look at how it turned out. And it looks really good. It's shiny. Let's go stick a fish skull on this. So how are we gonna stick it on the wall? I kinda forgot about that. Luckily I magically have some mounting hardware. Ooh. So I'm just gonna stick it on the back here. Yeah, that looks about right. Definitely the right tool for the job. I had to bend the nails over because these were the smallest nails that I had, but they still would have poked through the board. So this is pretty much what it's going to look like. Now we just gotta go get old, use this old hot glue gun, stick it on there. And there we go.
Joins the dome.